Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Railbirds TV. Derby City Classic Action, Bank Pool. My name is Summerfield Habner. Here with you from the Railbirds booth. Playing Short Rack Bank Pool. Race to three. Winner's choice. No kicks, combos, caroms. It's got to be straight bank. Uh, winner's choice to see who breaks. Any foul costs you a ball. This is round two here at Derby City Classic. David Matlock versus Shannon Helton. I don't know a whole lot about Shannon's game, but David's hanging in the rafters here somewhere, so we know he can play. 2005, David was the bank pool champion. He still breaks like a champion. Man, just squatting that ball. Comes up dry, though. It looks so square, I thought something was going to fall for him. Right? Boy, a nice open table. You twist this five in and you're looking good. It's easy to overspin that ball. That looks like that's what happened there. Round two, still early. These brand new tables still slipping quite a bit. Yeah, you see that coming up real wide for David as well. Yeah, nothing super obvious here. I I like playing off the high side of the three. Um, as long as I feel like I'm not naturally rolling into that corner pocket. So looking at the Z bank here. Does look like he gets under the six. Not quite able to convert. That really opens things up for David on the high side of this table. Gotta watch the kiss on the one, but it looks like he's got the room. Hits that one a little long. You can see both players playing that bank pool speed you know they're both hitting the ball pretty firm um it's it's one of the ways you kind of control the slip and that out angle is with speed kind of gonna have to spike that one too still goes long on him This one looks kissy to me too. So draws off that. Not able to get there. Seven spots up. I'm always interested uh, watching the left-handed players play because the shot selection is just really different. That time again, it came to the opposite end of the table that I feel like I would have been drawn to. You can beat the kiss on this nine ball. It's close, but you kind of see how the cue ball and the nine ball are lined up to the high side of that pocket. That's what you watch for when you're picking out a kiss line. But it did look like you had room. This one looks pretty kissy to me also. Gonna have to do something with the cue ball to get to. No, he had plenty of room. Gets out of the way with ease. Does hit it a little bit wide. Is he going to straight back squeeze that nine? That looked tricky to me. Yeah. I like passing this three ball a lot more. A little bit wide. So consistently a little bit wide. You can see that table slipping on these guys. Neither one able to dial in quite yet. Let's 
It's two balls. A lot of fun to look at after what you've been shooting at. Still jacked up over the four. Not the easiest shot. There it is. Okay, so a little easier to beat the kiss on this nine ball here. If that's what you choose to shoot. Not quite lined up straight at that high side. He's got a little more room. That's going to slip in for him. Six and the three, both good options here. Yeah, the three ball leads to the six pretty naturally, too. A little wide. All right, well, knocks a couple down. But boy, that opens this table up big time for David Matlock. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see him miss many of those. But boy, barely missing that corner pocket, too. I'm a little surprised that didn't slip in on him. Kind of gets stuck down here in the corner. Got room on the one. That looks pretty good to me. Looks like the three. Yeah, five's not in the way there. Doesn't look like he likes it. Wow, barely missing that eight ball. Ooh, slips it in. Two to go. Seven ball, almost a dead straight bank here. Slips it in. Yeah, that was... You don't want to leave a former Derby City champion that much room to work. Because that's all she wrote. Excellent shooting for David Matlock. Taking down game number one here at the 2024 Derby City Classic. Stream sponsors for this event, Bad Boys, huge shout out to them, Rick Jones and the Jones family, Hustlin' Clothing USA, JB Custom Q Cases, and Beautiful Cases, Jerry Olivier Custom Qs, Lippman Lights out of Portland, Oregon, and Locked and Loaded Custom Billiard Apparel. Shout out to them for helping us bring this stream to you. And thank you for tuning in here at Railbirds TV. As we said, former champion David Matlock here versus Shannon Helton. Hard rack only here at Derby City Classic for the bank pool event anyway. Template rack is required for nine ball. I've had the opportunity to play David before, and he is an incredible player, total gentleman. I did not know who I was playing when I was playing him, and I'm a little bit glad I didn't. Um, yeah, yes, he did roast me, but I was able to make a little match out of it. Another dry break for him. He hits him square, just not able to get something to fall there. Again, the break definitely impacted by the slippage early on. Really? I like starting with the 8. Looks like he's going to try the Z-Bank. Looks like the 8's got room to slip by the 6. Ooh, did it slip up enough? Nice try. Especially a southpaw, this five ball looks pretty juicy. Smooth. Yeah, boy, David hits him good. Yep, 
One definitely has a pocket. It looks like the seven has a pocket if he wants to play it straight back in the upper right. One ball definitely goes. Wiggles that one in, nice shot. Looks like he got stuck. I don't think you can turn that two enough to avoid the three and get all the way to the right side. Looks like thinning off the three and coming back up table. Yep. It's a good eye, nice line. Two nothing lead. Think that two past the six. Don't think the four gets around the nine. Can try to clip that three ball, but it's letting the cue ball loose. Low percentage. Definitely open things up. I like playing safe here as well. Playing off the right side of the four ball, coming under the seven, two rails back up table. Yeah, it's a nice shot. Looks like the eight's got room. Seven ball. Looks like it passes the six. That's pretty tight. Eight's pretty straight. Yeah, catches the edge of the six. It was going wide, though. It looked like he did have room on that one. Three stays up. Straight back on the two is definitely available. Kind of an easier way to get up table as well. Everything else looks pretty tricky here. You can play the eight in the lower right as well if you'd like. Yeah, playing mostly cue ball there. Leaving David on the rail. Nice touch. Eight ball does have a pocket. Standing off the four. Oh, he cut that one fat. Kind of gets away with it with that side pocket being blocked, but played pretty straight on the two ball. That four ball is pretty straight. It gets around the seven. I like the straight back on the two. Swish City. Nice shot. I personally like the eight in the same pocket here. Yeah. Catches that one a little wide. I 
Yeah, not much to work with here from David. I'm going to see him 10 off the 9. Try to get on that rail. Nice touch. ball banks but from nine feet away hitting I mean a whole bunch of that nine to get it to hold trying to avoid the double kiss not an easy shot doesn't look like the eight gets around the four yeah I don't like leaving anything on the bottom side of this table there's just too much to work with I think I like playing off the right side of the nine. Looks like he's going to try the bank. It's just really easy to double kiss this ball. Wow. Like it had eyes. Beautiful shot for Shannon Helton. And like I said, opens up this table. But when you make that bank, it opens it up for you. And he hit that ball good. short two two game both players needing three Shoot the eight back at him in the upper right. He wants to do something aggressive. Two railer on the six might go around the four ball. Does he have room to sneak that between? Oh. Wow, playing the five railer. Nice try there. That was good eye. Straight back here does go. Catch that one wide. The slip still both you know, getting both these players. See a lot of those balls rolling wide. Both four and six have pockets. Kind of just up to preference at this point. Again, you see him, I mean, it's so consistently wide in that same spot. And that's, those are players that know how to bank the ball that just haven't adjusted to the table yet. Expect David to handle this one, though. That's pretty juicy three ball here. Again, better cue in position here for a left-handed player also. Really easy to get right down on that ball. You don't have the corner of the table in the way. Wiggles it in. Nice leave on the six. He's got two to go. Little short look out. Corner pocket. Oh, man. He's going to have to give it back. Those hurt. Oh. 
I hate scratching in any game, but bank pool really hurts. Yeah, so he spotted two there. Um, he didn't pocket a ball when he fouled. So he had pocketed a ball. He does lose that ball, but uh, spotted two. He only owed one, so the count's going to be off. Whenever you're figuring the count out, you count the number of balls on the table, the number of balls made. Should add up to nine. Now, had he made the ball on the turn that he fouled, then he would need to spot two. Because the ball that he made would not count, and he would owe a ball. A little short. All right, so you, you see him adjusting. I mean, he was going consistently wide. Now he's coming just a little bit short. Honing it in. Looks like you can see the whole six ball. Yeah, it looks like both the three and the six bank in that upper right hand pocket. I think a lot of players like the three railer on the eight from here because it's easy to get back up table as well. Like he's just thinning off the six. Catches that a little thick to be thinning, though. That's going to open up the bottom side of the table for David. Ooh. Touch wide. Man, and good look here for Shannon. Needs three to get out. One ball's dead in. Couple of hangers coming if you can knock this one down. Oh, get out the way. Wow, eight ball saving him there. Try to twist this eight in. I think I am. Looks like he wants to take it in the corner. Hits it pretty square, a little short. Only needs two. David, pretty dead straight on the six ball. There it is. Oh, sh man, short side of the pocket again. Can't even say short. I mean, just barely catching that point. A lot of players like this three railer. It's really safe. You full ball hit. You can stay on the side of the table. You got a pretty good chance of the ball falling. Catches that one a little wide. That close to the rail, it's a little tougher to judge. Dialing it in. Nothing too easy here for Shannon. Definitely shoot a two railer on the six ball. Looks like he wants to do something defensive. Puts a stroke on that ball, gets him back up table. Unfortunately, he's going to leave him pretty straight on the spotted ball. That's about exactly where I practice my spot shots from. If you're going to practice one bank out there, 
Can you play bank pool? Spot shot's a good one to practice. Looks like David might have practiced a time or two himself. I like the four ball from here. You don't have to worry about any cross center or anything like that. He needs three. Hit it good. Interesting to see if he'll play the three or the eight. Likes a three. Not today. Oh, it did go for him. All right. I did not think that was going to slip in, but it did. This is the game ball. That's how quick it happens, man. Boy, after being up three to one, David Matlock with a run of four to take down game number two. Tournament sponsors of this event here at Derby City Classic, Diamond Billiard Products. They provide all the tables, all these beautiful lights here. Huge shout out to Diamond. Simona's Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, Outsville Accurac, Accustats Video Productions, and Master Billiard Chalk. Thanks for providing the space and the equipment for this amazing tournament. Derby City Classic, largest bank pool tournament in the world, largest one pocket tournament in the world. It's good action. Two dry breaks from David Matlock. See if he can get something going. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nothing worse than starting in the negative. Well, I guess it wasn't dry. First ball to fall. Unfortunately, it was the white one. That'll give Shannon Helton ball in hand in the kitchen here. Pretty good looking table here. It's important to not get caught up in trying to get a leave off this first ball. I mean... You want to find an easy way to get to the next ball, but the first thing you want to do is absolutely make sure you spike this first bank. It's nothing worse than leaving a juicy table for your opponent after they give you an easy one. Nice shot. Yeah, and even though you're... Oh, he does have the two. Thought he might have ended up stuck on the one. Slip in there. Nice shot. Needs three. Little tree topped over the one ball. Yeah, and kind of on that kiss line as well. You might consider the straight back on the six if he's got it or passing the one. Yeah, I, that's a tough shot to shoot the five from. Tough space to shoot the five from, excuse me. that six it's close In my experience if it looks close on the screen he probably has it reversed it on him yep so looks like he tried to stiff that ball a little bit got a little too much two to negative one lead David needs six this five's a great starter ball Another look. Nine ball. Pretty straight also. Yeah. Maybe a little closer to the nine. Maybe just easier queuing position. Oh, catches the kiss. Trouble. Ooh, is that one going to get in the way? Man, that almost... Almost did it to him. Shannon needs three. Boy, they're sitting right there, too. Trying to take down game number three. Nice shot. I 
hit this with enough speed that you come around a couple rails for the one. Oh, and come short. All right. Looks like the one ball does pass the nine in the side, if that's what you like. Plays the passer, plays it well too, a nice shot. Looks like the four past the six as well, if that's what you're looking at. Both six and the nine have a pocket. the two railer oh the three railer all right so kind of you thin this two railer and it comes across it's pretty much a, a z bank off the foot rail oh, not able to pull that one down there we go couple balls here if you can knock them down oh gets tree topped over the eight might have to consider going to the six from there that's yeah tough jacked up like that you kind of got to stiff this angle um, and you don't really we well, have no access to the bottom of the cue ball you want to shoot that eight it's just it's so available but I think you get a lot easier time shooting the six from here. It's up four nothing. He'd really like to get out of this rack. Not let David back to the table. Now try the two railer. Safe shot. You can follow this one down. Look out for the cue ball though. It's it a little wide. Oh, it went. It looked wide coming off. Great shot for Shannon Helton to close out rack number three. It will be his break if he wants it. Shannon says not going down without a fight. Yeah, sweet little two-railer there. Back of the pocket. Great shot. That's why I love this game. Uh, just so many creative ways to approach it. Shots like that that, I mean, most players don't see. Most bank pool players are like, oh, I see that two railer on the side. Doesn't come up in a lot of other games, but just seeing those lines really helps you with cue ball position, all that stuff. Well, first break here for Shannon Helton. to the center of the table. Not as conventional of a nine ball break. Coming up dry, unfortunately. Dave and Matlock, wide open table, trying to close this thing out. Yeah, that four ball... Looks like it's tough to twist that in. He's real close to that side pocket. Next to two, lower right. A little wide. All right, we're well, making this thing a match, Shannon Helton. I 
like either the five or the six from here. Almost catching the Z bank. Six. Looks like it's got a path. It's a big reach. Yeah, the line's there. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to get down on that ball. That'll do. Man, it gets good on that too. Boy, this can unpeel real quick. Spikes it. Nice shot. Looks like he can stiff this one. He might choose to pass it. Yeah, see that right English? He's going to stiff it. Comes a little wide. Knocking a couple down. David Matlock taking a 2 nothing lead. Hmm. Funky spot here for Shannon. Not a lot to work with. Trying to sneak the one through. Does it have a path? Wow, it looked like it might have. That was a tight little window, though. I do not want to be leaving Shannon this. Sorry, leaving David this. It looks like he can slip under the three ball. It is lined up to the high side of that pocket. It is tight. Let's see if... I like playing this with high inside. Yeah. Smooths that one right in. And boy, only needs two to go. Seven ball. Probably coming around for the four next. Let's it run. Plenty to work with. Yeah, you really got to stiff that eight if you shoot it. It's a wide angle. The five ball is pretty dang straight. Likes the one. Just to close it out. Ooh. Catch the outside of that pocket. Four nothing lead for David Matlock. Shannon Helton needs them all. At this point, I mean, your shot selection just changes so much that five is so straight, but you know, if you miss it, I mean, you're leaving a couple of hangers at that end of the table. Don't clip it. Ooh, clip it can get brutal. Trying to see if that four gets around the nine ball. Looks like it does. Pretty close though. Looks like nine gets around the five. Might even be able to see enough of the five. Got options. Yeah, likes the four. Definitely lets the cue ball run. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, David Matlock, former bank pool champion, taking down Shannon Helton in this round two. Nice shooting for Shannon. He's got a buyback. If you guys like what you're seeing, like what you're hearing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It's going to let you know every time we come back with more Derby City Classic action. Stay tuned. we got a bunch more coming your way.